Good morning, guys, my YouTube family. I know I've been uh, slacking, but I have good reason. I've been setting up a game plan for my diet and my weight loss because, you know, this is about me, guys. You're watching me. It's not about you guys, but I love you guys. Uh, you guys are so supportive. It's so sweet. Um, so here is my game plan. Here's my game plan, and I hope you guys can join along or leave comments and think of a... Uh, think of things that might work also or you know just like I said just join along with me because this will work guys and it's gonna be fun and by the end of next year if you're watching today you can say I was there when Joe was a fat tart of poo so here's my plan guys uh, my goal is to lose eight pounds a month how hard is that that's not hard at all that's ridiculous it's easy um, it's an obtainable goal I know it it's it's not that hard um, so by the end of January this month, I should be 298, which is 8 pounds from where I'm at now. Uh, I know it's only three weeks, but I will be losing a lot of water weight. I'll probably lose 5 pounds this week. Uh, this, you know, tomorrow's being Monday. To next Sunday, I, I could pr lose 5 pounds easy. Um, so, yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, so 8 pounds a month. Um, so 298 January, 290 by February, by May down to 266 at the end of May. I'm looking good, getting ready for the summer. 258 in June, July, at the end of July, 250. I'm feeling great. I'm looking good. I'm, you know, getting tighter. Uh, by my birthday, I should be under 240. That's exciting. Um, by the holidays next year, 215, 210. And then by the end of next year, December, I should be around 210. Well, let me get in there, guys. I have to. I haven't worked out yet, so uh, because I wanted to share this with you. I, don't, I wanted to. I wanted to hurry up and share this with you. And I'm gonna go work out. I'm gonna get a, like about 30 minutes of cardio in there. I'm gonna do upper body today, because my uh, my legs are a little sore from yesterday and probably the cardio today. And starting tomorrow, it's gonna be really early starts, 4:30 in the morning, because for a lot of reasons. One, I got to get the kids off to school. Two, there's less people at the gym. Three, the route to this gym here is under construction from 7 in the morning to 5 at night. So I got to get here, get my workout in, and get home by 7 in the morning so I get everybody off to school and get ready to look for jobs. And I'm ranting, and I got to go work out, and I'm procrastinating. See you guys. Bye. Where's your puppy? You want to go for a walk? You want to go for a walk? Oh, Beautiful Sunday morning. Here in Sojo, South Jersey. I think one of the radio stations around here. Yeah, they call it Sojo. South Jersey. Come on, buddy. Going for a little walk after the gym. Uh, let's see, what did I do today at the gym? I did a mile on the tread and a mile on the elliptical. And that's all I did today because I'm a little sore. And I don't want to discourage myself from getting up tomorrow morning. So I'm taking baby steps back at the gym, which you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to kill yourself, guys. Don't go, hey, I gained weight and go lift uh, 500 pounds and like, oh, and then you're out for three days. No, don't. You want to baby steps. You want to gradually get into it. Um, I know like shows like The Biggest Loser, like they kick your butt and have you throwing up and everything. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that because I don't have a trainer knocking at my door in the morning and get me out of bed. So if I'm not feeling good tomorrow, I, wouldn't, I won't get out of bed. So that's that. And there's Travis in his glory sniffing. Go get those seagulls. Go get those flying rats. He loves it. Ah, you smell some crabs. You smell some dead crabs over there. Mr. Crabs! Is Mr. Crabs there? Oh, yeah. Are we going back now? Uh, all right, if you say so. Okay. You call the shots there, buddy. You call the shots. I just do all the driving and feeding and grooming and everything, but if you want to go home, we can go home now. That's fu Hello? 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 He's gone. Hey, guys. Let's vent a little bit. Let's talk pet peeves. I've just been thinking since I've left the gym. You know, the gym is so encouraging. It's a great place to be. It's like church. You know, you feel good when you're there. You feel good when you leave. You know, you want to be there. You want to work out. But, you know, people are knuckleheads. They are obnoxious. And one of my pet peeves are, is, or are, people that stick their iPod to their arm. Now I understand they sell them that way so you can work out and you can be hands free. You don't have to worry about it in your pocket, I guess, because I've never had a trouble with it in my pocket before. You know, um, 
Anyway, there was this lady at the gym today, right? She had this thing stuck. To, it wasn't even an iPod, which is even more obnoxious. Probably one of the latest. Looked like uh, like the Dryonic, uh, uh, Droid Bionic or the new Samsung HT. Like, just huge. Galaxy, whatever. So, she had it stuck to her arm. Where is this dog going? I'm not leaving yet. Dude. So, she has this thing stuck to her arm. I mean, she can't even read. She's like this with the music and, you know. I'm like, seriously? What are you doing? It, 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 look, it look ridiculous. And... Yeah, just those people are obnoxious. Obnoxious people at the gym are my pet peeves. You know, there's other things that go on, too. But, uh, like, I, I have an iPod Touch I could use. 32 gigs, tons of music. You know, I could shiny everything. I use my shuffle. I clip it to my pants. Plenty of music. It's all I need. Discreet, practical. I think people just are losing touch with reality. You know? Anyway. Anybody else have any pet peeves? Yeah, people that talk on YouTube and have no life. I like that one. Put that in the comments. This dog is ridiculous. He ha he's circling the car. He's in a hurry to get here, and then he's in a hurry to leave. <sighs> you know what I think it is? Uh, at least, I don't know if it's all golden retrievers. But um, he's happy being here, but I think he stresses out about the people, his, the family at home. He wants to go home and protect them. And I think he's just worried about that. Where'd you go, buddy? Well, before we leave, I want to show you the beautiful sights. It is a beautiful day in South Jersey. There's Atlantic City. As the sun comes up. How was your scooter ride, ladies? It's fine. I'm tired, though. You're tired. You're not old. You're only... You're not old. I'm 29. I'm old. I know. That's not old. What do you think of the shiny car? I smell it. It looks good. An hour and a half later, I am done cleaning it, waxing it, detailing it. I think I did a pretty good job. I love detailing cars. I love it. I used to do it as a hobby a few years back for like 40 bucks a car just to keep busy. Guys, do you think this is a chick car? Leave that in the comments below. I like the car. You know what it does? It reminds me of summertime. It's a great shore car. You drive down Ocean Drive here in South Jersey. Wind is down, summer tunes on. You know, I like it. But I've gotten more than one comment of it being a chick car. And I don't think so. You know, if anything, I see older guys driving it. I don't drive. You know, I don't see chicks driving cruisers. Cruiser losers. I'm telling you, if I can get this in a convertible, uh, that would be sweet. It's T-Bow time. It's T-Bow time. Denver Come on, everybody's rooting for Tebow, right? Uh, of course. I'm rooting for Tebow. Hey, of course he's not a great quarterback. I know he's not a great quarterback. I know he's got limitations. But how can you not root for the guy? Come on, Tebow! Here we go. First snap of the overtime. The Broncos have been in three overtime games this year. They went in there. Down here. Good night, everybody.